Hello everyone, this is Freefall here again and in today's video we're going to cover Windows Terminal Services or what we know as Remote Desktop Protocol and hardening the configuration. Now with weaker encryption RDP could potentially allow an attacker to eavesdrop and perform a man in the middle attack which would ultimately affect the system confidentiality and the integrity of the data. So I'm just going to show you some simple steps on how you can harden uh, your RDP services. If we just move over to the testing machine then, which I'm using Kali. And for this instance, we are using the vulnerability scanner Nessus to highlight the results. And this is Nessus Home, which is free of charge. And one thing I'd like to say is that the environment that I've set up here it's just been set up and it hasn't been patched so this is why you're seeing all the critical and highs now if you are seeing that on your own environment we'd recommend that you've got um, bigger issues to worry about so please look into these first however for the purpose of the demonstration we're just going to bring the terminal services vulnerabilities up and as you can see the top three here are the ones that we're interested in terminal services don't use network level authentication me terminals terminal services encryption is medium or low and is non FIPS for 140 compliant excuse me so we're going to fix them now and it's done in three simple steps really moving back over to the server 2012 the DC we're just going to open group policy management edit the group policy and then go to computer configuration policies administrative templates Windows components Remote desktop services, so let's scroll down. Let's get that out of the way. Uh, let's go to services, there we go. Remote desktop session host, and finally security. Now the first one we want to look at is require user authentication for remote connections by using the NLA. Double click, set that to enabled done okay then the next one is set client encryption level enabled and then the drop down just make sure it's high apply and then finally we need to check the require use of specific security layer enable again and SSL TLS 1.0 and they're the three options that you need to apply now to apply them options, you need to just force uh, the update. So GP update four. Oh, I had a spell. And that'll just update the group policy. Uh, that's updated successfully. Now moving back over to the testing machine, go back to the scans. Uh, this is the main control that I've scanned. And here's what I created earlier. So the recent scan, we'll go back to the vulnerabilities and again search for terminal services. And you can now see um, that the medium, the two medium are below severity ratings, which were previously, previously identified actually been resolved. So within three simple steps you've hardened your Windows configura RDP configuration. And that's it for today. I hope that video helps. If you've got any questions please feel free to ask.